Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Dante Fortson here with episode number 10 of Ask an Israelite. Today's question is, what is a moderate black Hebrew Israelite? But before we get to that, I just want to remind you that Ask an Israelite is your opportunity to connect with someone from the Israelite community and get your questions answered. So please feel free to post your questions and comments in the comments section below this video. Also, make sure you like the video, give it the thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. Most importantly, make sure you click the notification bell, turn on all notifications so you don't miss any future videos that I put out. All right, so let me go ahead and give you my disclaimer before I get started answering the question. I do not speak for all Israelites. The views and opinions expressed in this video are my own. I am not associated with any BHI camp or denomination, and I identify as an Israelite by birth. All right, so today's question is, what is a moderate black Hebrew Israelite? So this is a term that has come up recently. It is a term that has been created by a hate group posing as a Christian organization. And this hate group is known as the Urban Apologist. Their main goal is to discredit and distract and defame and demonize any black person that claims to be an Israelite. Um, they spread a lot of uh, false information. They claim that we are making salvation about race, and that's not true because we don't all teach the same thing. Uh, they claim that we're trading ethnicity or heritage for salvation, and again, that's not true. Uh, they have this double standard. If you're not black, um, you're allowed to embrace your ethnicity, such as Italian, French, German, Spanish, Arab, um, Armenian. They don't mind if you embrace your heritage then, Irish, any of that. They don't mind. If you're black and you say you're African or Jamaican, they don't mind. But if you're black and you say you're Israel, um, they display a vile hatred towards you. They, um, they'll outright lie. So a lot of this stuff comes from them. The reason being that they started calling uh, many of us moderates is because they originally tried to lump all Israelites together and they were caught lying. Once um, people started to note that not all Israelites believed and taught the same thing as they were trying to um, they were trying to push that lying narrative. And so because they were exposed, they had to try to figure that out. And so they started trying to lump us into two groups. Um, so you have the who they call the black Hebrew Israelite camps and then you have the moderates. Well, the problem is even when you try to split the moderates into one large group, you have another problem because we don't all believe the same thing. And so it's not possible to put all Israelites into two groups, either camps or moderates. Uh, but this is the narrative that they want to paint and they wanted to paint that uh, since the beginning. And so what they've been trying to do is deceive people about what we believe. They're trying to um, teach people that we teach race based salvation. Uh, they're telling people that. Um, everybody is violent. That's not true. And even the ADL, the Anti-Defamation League, has said out, out, of, out of their own reports on their own website that the majority of Israelites are not racist and a majority of Israelites are not violent and a majority of Israelites are not anti-Semitic. And yet this this group that is posing as Christians, these urban apologists, this hate group disguised as a Christian organization is going around pushing the opposite message without any research. And what makes them so deceptive, if you go on some of their channels, they will even quote from the ADL and use ADL material and they refuse to scroll down. I've pointed it out in some of my own videos where they refuse to scroll down and show people the rest of the article in which the ADL says that the majority of Israelite groups are not violent, hateful or anti-Semitic. And so it's important to be aware of these hate groups out there because they do pose as Christian groups, but they are definitely not uh, Christian groups in the way they in the way they react. And if you listen to some of them, they are very violent towards Israelite. And when I say violent, I'm not talking about just words. They um, they talk about doing physical violence to uh, women and men in our community. Uh, they spread uh, 
false information such as uh, one of the ladies who I won't say her name here to give her any extra shine. Uh, she accused one of the camps of raping children, which was just an outright lie and false uh, because that's never happened among that camp. Nobody in that camp has ever been convicted of that, from what I understand. And she has shown no proof that that has ever happened. Uh, so you will you will find lies like that among the urban apologists. And then you will also find parody skits where they entertain themselves by killing black people that claim to be Israelites. You'll see that yourself um, if you poke around long enough. They they refer to it as parody. Um, and in my opinion, it's it's nothing but hate, because if they made a video like that, killing um, the Jews that are in Israel right now, they wouldn't you know, people wouldn't find it funny. They would say it's anti-Semitic, but because they are killing black people, they are 100 percent fine with that. And the whole their whole community supports this. I don't I don't know what it is. It's it's hate disguised as Christianity and humor. So just be aware that the term moderate black Hebrew Israelite originated from that hate group and they're still using it to try to push a false narrative. So if you want to support what we're doing with um, Israelites outreaching to the community, you can support via patreon.com forward slash Dante Fortson. It's only one dollar to support. And if you would rather support via cash app, you can do that with cash tag BHITB. The PayPal support link is in the description. And if you catch the premieres live, you can always support via Super Chat. So with that said, I hope I answered your question. And until next time, I'm out.